doing journalism that he does not like. But we look at it, and it's, it's didn't an, Obama but, spy on a journalist? But Ryan, it's in hold on, Ryan, it's in all caps, and, didn't, but and didn't it seems Obama funny, it seems wild, so people sometimes dismiss it, even though it's very serious. But Brian, didn't Obama spy no on a journalist? No administration is perfect. <laughs> All right, maybe so everybody already knows this guy, but he's brand new to me. Ryan Gerdusky, who's a conservative strategist who has been throwing down and destroying these CNN panels for the last few weeks using facts that have apparently been banned from CNN and other Democrat media outlets up until now. But we look at it and it's- But didn't Obama spy on a journalist? But Ryan, it's in, hold on, Ryan, it's in all caps and and it seems funny, it seems wild, so people sometimes dismiss it, even though it's very serious. But Brian, didn't Obama spy on a journalist? No administration is perfect. Oh, that was different. What? And not only did Obama spy on reporters, but he was well known for their self-titled war on Fox News. No administration is perfect. But <laughs> what? <A> human. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't think that, I do not believe that Donald Trump did what, Joe, what Barack Obama did. The Trump administration put reality winner behind bars for leaking to the intercept. Every administration is guilty of some of this. I don't think so. No, that's not true. Surprising absolutely nobody, Brian Stelter is just straight up lying here. In fact, Donald Trump was an open supporter of Winner and tried to get her sentence reduced, which it was. And Winner herself appreciated Donald Trump's support, which was reported on at the time. The Trump administration put reality winner behind bars for leaking to the intercept please believe me please believe me every administration is guilty of some of this okay but the trump that's not the same thing donald yeah. trump has threatened every major media company in the united states so including fox wait 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 but brian ryan, ryan okay all right uh, okay. let's call it what what you say i think brian's point is trump is saying he wants to take an entire news organization off the air because he doesn't like the an interview that they conducted. He doesn't like the editor. Can't you just like in the real world acknowledge that's bad? All right, so a few points. At the beginning of the clip, they were talking about Trump's supposed threat to the free press by calling out 60 Minutes for their deceptive edit of the Kamala Harris interview. But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. Well, Bill, the work that we have done has resulted in a number of m movements in that region by Israel that were very much prompted by or a result of uh, many things, including our advocacy for what needs to happen in the region. Say what? But it seems that uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu is not listening. We are not going to stop pursuing what is necessary for the United States to be clear about where we stand on the need for this war to end. Which, by the way, they still won't release the full transcript of and are currently continuing to dig their hole by claiming their edits weren't nefarious and were only done to give a more succinct response by Kamala. Or is it for Kamala? Anyway, this is all just hilarious coming from a guy like Brian Stelter, who literally spent four years attacking Fox News and Fox News reporters, suggesting that they had no business being on the air. We all know it. CBS, one of America's three historic networks, will not be taken down by Trump. He simply does not have the institutional support or power to make it happen unfortunately. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, please hit that like button and subscribe. I do post on a regular basis, so keep checking back for more. Thanks a lot.